my testing skin today that uh, quiet made me. It's today is a happy, happy day. Briarios has gotten the first um, iteration of his expansion mod for Greg Tech 5U to me, and we're going to light some fires and kick some tires and see what kind of things we can tear up. Because that's what I like to do when I get a new mod, is not see what all the features are. Are and how great they are. I like to try to break the sons of bitches. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright, so. Uh, GG5. Nope. Alright, this upset don't work. What's it called in here? Oh, Greg Tech. Okay, gotcha. So I gotta type. Okay, you can tell he didn't make it specifically for me, because you don't put a smaller friggin' name on it. Okay, so this is what we have right now. There's supposed to be a tree farm. That's what these uh, saw blades are for. But I've already messaged him that they are missing, or that the tree farm is missing, at least in NEI. So hopefully in the next few days, he'll get me another copy of this that has that in there. And we can work on that. But right now we have a mobile crate and a mobile barrel. And a full set of composite armor. So first thing we're going to start with is these mobile things. We need three, four, five, six more plates. And then we're going to need thing of screws and why'd I put that in lathe? Because I'm blue mints. And we're gonna try this out. Alright, you gimme um gimme this. Gimme that. And you know what? You're gonna get another one just because I don't like having two small piles of steel dust now because I'm a dummy. Alright. Um, I need my cutting machine. And it's still over in the other building because I don't have my distillation tower set up yet to make lubricant and I don't want to make more lubricant. I'm just throwing it, everything in here with a battery at the moment. Hopefully that's going to be, oh yeah, that's plenty. It takes more to cut up a log. Alright. I'm going to go make these screws. Now, personally, I think... For the tank, depending on how much it holds, um, you got to make it uh, a little bit more, I guess, expensive by putting, like, cells or something in it. But I don't know how much it holds yet. So, if it only holds a couple things, you know, 16, then this should be fine. Um, lathe. Where did I put a lathe? Uh, that's a polarizer. I was just in the lathe and I can't remember where I put it. Okay. So now... We need hammer. All these around it. And that makes our mobile chest. And then we need 
these and that and these with screwdriver and that makes our portable our mobile crate all right so that's our crate small three by nine inventory so let's throw some batteries in here now to pick this thing up I'm guessing we use a wrench okay we don't use a wrench um, he needs to put that on here how we're supposed to pick this bad boy up supposed to actually pickaxe it? God, I don't want to do that. Oh, man, yeah, we do. Huh. Alright, I think I'm going to suggest he changes that to the wrench instead of the pick. Alright, and everything's still in there. Works perfect. Because that's like one of the main things with Greg Tech is you don't use a pickaxe on nothing. So, I might suggest that to him. I'm sure he's going to watch this video. All right, and then we got our tank, and there's no gooey on it. It breaks with a pick as well. So, do I got oxygen up here? Nope. Got oxygen cells. Hey, yep. Alright, so if I put that there, and I put the oxygen in there, it should go into that. Now, is this supposed to actually change and tell me it's going in there? This is kind of a question for Briarios, not for y'all. Why did you not go in there? Oh, you didn't go in there because I didn't set the item router to know to go in there. I wasn't ever planning on having steel dust that needed to go in there. Alright, there we go. You can have that now. I knew that was going to happen because I was so daggone close. Stop giving it back to me. I don't want it. Go. Thank you. Alright, now I have no idea how I'm supposed to tell if there's anything in there. And it also right now doesn't tell you what its max is. It says it's empty when you make it, so I'm guessing that if I break it now, it's going to tell me what's in it. See, it still says empty. B. How I do. Alright, you're just going to be like that. We're going to try something different. Where is all that oxygen going if it's not going in here? thought everything else was full. Uh, portable tank, portable tank, portable tank. What's in portable tank? 250 things of refinery gas. Ugh. Hey, we got all this water right here. Give me you. It automatically outputs from the bottom of this barrel. You can see it went in. It doesn't show on here that it's changed, so you need to talk to him. Need to have him check that. Why did I just set that back down? But when I pick it up, it ha now has water, 16 buckets worth. So that's cool. 
Now, does it auto output? That's the next thing to tell. No, it does not. To me, portable barrel should auto output. And honestly, to me, it should be like these, where input is the top, output is the bottom, sides do nothing. That's just me. Um, and can we make these a little bit uh, scalable? Because in my pack, these here hold 64. So this is going to be a more expensive way, a Greg Tech only way, of doing a fourth of one of these. Now, I can understand for people that play with Greg Tech by itself. But if I remember correctly, he's making different uh, levels of these as well. So actually, I might be able to get rid of these all together for these. Alright, so... I need to get... Um, you know what? I want to try something. I don't even know if this is possible. Will one of these work? Absorbs fluid and collects rain. So if I put a portable tank on it, would it work? I don't think so. But what would be neat is if you used one of those to make the very bottom and the very top of the portable, the mobile barrel. And then you apply a redstone signal to it. And that would either open the top drain. Well, it'd be hard to tell it the top or the bottom. But you could do it for the bottom. Put one of these for the bottom drain in the recipe. And if you apply a redstone signal to it, it opens it and allows it to drain out. So that would be kind of cool. Um, actually, let me see if... Do I have another uh, liquid fluid my buffer? Um, I think I might actually have one over here. Let me go look. I need one of them uh, hoppers, fluid hoppers. There we go, we got two. Awesome. And we're going to see if it'll pull from. Yes, it is. Wait a minute. Why is it pulling? Okay, something was weird there. Wait a minute. Did that only read 4,000? Never mind. My brain is apparently broke. I thought that read 40,000. Not 4,000. So now this should be... Why do I keep placing it? I can't look at it when it's placed. Back to empty. Alright. So there we go. That's those two. And my suggestions for him on them. Now, this week while I'm kicking the tires and lighting the fires on this mod uh, I'm not going to give any uh, download 
links to it. I'm not going to put it into my pack download. But after he gives me the okay that everything is good to go and he's got all the recipes and all the things working exactly the way he wants and I've made sure there's no uh, bugs that I can find. Not going to guarantee that that'll be no bugs, but if there's a bug, I can probably find it. So let's look at this composite armor real quick. And this is a full set of composite armor, which uses a leather tunic, an iron chest plate, and advanced alloy. Or boots and advanced alloys. Alright. Um, I think I'm going to make this in the next video. And we'll go take some damage and see how it protects you. And things like that. Because I'm going to have to get enough enough leather around to do this I do not believe I've got 24 pieces of leather on me dun, 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 dun. all right so I will check that out and I will get back with you next time probably be tomorrow we've done a lot of Greg Tech 6 over the last couple weeks, so we're going to play around in Greg Tech 5 for a couple days. And kick the tires on this new mod and see how it works. So I will see you guys next time. By the way, um, somebody on the forum said that they had to have a level, a tier 3 um, input hatch, output hatch on their thing to do titanium and I'm here to tell you no you don't because right there's an LB fluid hatch there's an LB output bus and over here is an LV input bus you do not have to have tier 3 now the one thing you do have to have is an HV energy Hatch. Titanium. If you look at titanium here, it will show blast furnace. Oh, wait a minute. It's only got to be MV. Hmm. The HV is for the doing tungsten. That's right. So, yeah, as long as you have an MV. You're good, and you got to have the high enough coils. I think you only have to have the uh, copper nickel coils to do titanium. But I do the nichrome so I can do titanium. But this is what I've been using, and this is what we got on the server that I built there, and it works great there, so I don't know what they're talking about. Anyways, have a good one. Take it easy, and I will see you tomorrow.